India arrests people recruiting mercenaries for Russian army in war against Ukraine. Indian authorities have arrested four individuals involved in recruiting mercenaries to send them to war against Ukraine, according to Reuters. The arrested individuals who worked as translators assisted prospective mercenaries in obtaining visas and booking airline tickets. Law enforcement assures that investigations are ongoing regarding other accused individuals who are part of an international human trafficking network. In March, it was reported that approximately 35 Indian citizens were deceived into traveling to Russia for participation in the conflict against Ukraine. According to Reuters, the families of two deceased Indian citizens who fought on the side of Russia claimed that their husbands intended to work in the Russian army as assistants. The Indian Ministry of External Affairs stated that each case has been actively discussed with Russia. Russia is actively recruiting individuals for the war against Ukraine, but it faces a shortage of manpower, hence resorting to hiring mercenaries from various countries, offering them money and citizenship. In February, India appealed to Russia for the early release of some of its citizens who were working in the Russian army in auxiliary positions. In March, Al Jazeera reported that the Russian Federation had recruited citizens of Sri Lanka for the war against Ukraine, with some already being casualties. Russia promised citizens of Sri Lanka that they would be involved in bunker duty. However, the Ukrainian military managed to hit the bunker where the mercenaries were stationed. At present, hundreds of citizens of Sri Lanka are fighting on the side of Russia against Ukraine. Most of them joined the war for a salary of $3,000 and the prospect of obtaining Russian citizenship. It has also been established that some of the mercenaries have already been killed. Recently, Ukraine's main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense reported that mercenaries from Nepal, who arrived to fight against Ukraine within the ranks of the Russian army, are deserting en masse. A cargo plane made an emergency landing at Istanbul airport in Turkey. In the statement made by the Ministry of Transport and Infrastructure, the Boeing 763-type aircraft, with registration mark N110FE, belonging to FedEx Airlines, reported to the Istanbul Airport ATC unit that the front landing gear could not be opened due to hydraulic failure. So, the plane landed on the fuselage. In the statement, it was emphasized that there were no deaths or injuries and the following statements were used. The aircraft that landed at the airport was intervened by the airport rescue and fire fighting service teams and the runway was noted. There were no deaths or injuries in the accident. Experts were appointed by our agency and investigation and investigation studies were initiated. Minister of Transport and Infrastructure Abdulkader Yuraloglu made a statement to TRT News about the incident. Minister Yuraloglu stated that the plane was dragged 370 meters after landing and said, this plane is a cargo plane making a cargo flight from Paris to Istanbul. It is called Boeing 767 to 700 or 763. The pilot contacted the tower and his own indicators showed that the front landing gear was not opened. This situation sometimes appears as not opened on the indicators, but it can be opened physically. The pilot is then made to pass the runway twice and it is visually confirmed by our friends that the front landing gear is not opened, as well as the necessary firefighting, emergency response and rescue teams. It is deployed to appropriate places. In this way, the plane is made to land on the runway. First of all, it lands on the rear wheels and then the plane stops with a drift of approximately 370 meters. Then, there are two pilots. They are taken out of the emergency exit and brought to the appropriate health cabin or section at the airport by the medical team to perform the necessary health checks.